I think this monastery uh, exemplifies the 800 a year history of the friars in the Holy Land uh, in the sense that there's no history like this. It's an incredible history. We're getting ready to, to commemorate the 800th anniversary of the meeting of Francis and the Sultan. This monastery is founded, I believe, in 1899 by a Franciscan friar from the St. John the Baptist province. He was uh, interested in the Holy Land and he decided to set up a shrine here to kind of replicate some of the holy places in Jerusalem. This is the only monastery of its kind in the country. This monastery here has the shrine so you can whet your appetite for going. One of the things that this monastery was supposed to do was exactly that in a way to stir up interest in, in the Holy Land and pilgrimages in the Holy Land. We continue that mission here in the U.S. by providing these replicas, places for people to go and see for themselves, and by doing pilgrimages overseas to these very same places, Holy Land and Jordan. I've come to appreciate the spiritual significance of walking in the footsteps of Jesus in the Holy Land, seeing the various places where the events recounted in the Gospels have occurred. When people come here, I mean, they can get to experience how you have to scrunch down to get into the tomb of Jesus, how only a couple of people can actually fit in there. If we could get people to get interested in what's inside, maybe the Spirit could take over and do the rest of it. The sites that you're looking at in the Holy Land are connected to your salvation. And you say to yourself, my Lord, you did this for me here. It's an incredibly different experience. When you come here and you see these gardens, you get kind of enticed in. Then you wonder what's down there. I think that you do these things to, be, to attract people and to share with them what you think you've discovered. you always can tell if somebody's here for the first time. Because they come in not knowing what to expect and they go, oh! they look up, you know, because, they, because of just the configuration of the place, the ceiling, all. it's a dead giveaway. Different things turn different people on. Could be sound, could be sight, could be an, a, just an opportunity to pray. It's an encounter. Francis is in the people who come here. Creation spoke to him, and it got him to praise the Creator. I think that there's something about us inside that we want to be more than at peace with all creation. We want to be fully part and parcel of the creation, and Francis was able to do that. I've been very moved by the witness of the friars, their dedication to generating uh, not only interest, but spiritual vitality connected to the holy places. We are essentially students, learners, and the whole world is out there with a faithful God keeping it going so that we might learn. <laughs>